Um, but awesome. Hey, uh, other new advances, my awesome thing of the week. Um, I'm using it right now, guys. Um, so we talked about a bit ago, Justin TV died. Uh, Ustream has not been a good experience to our loyal uh, uh, watchers every week here on live.sorgatronmedia.com. Uh, they have some pretty, pretty horrible... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, does this hold up? Which is actually another podcast is in our, our chat room. Uh, F small hands, people. I have a Note three, and I'm a midget. Well, that's your your prerogative, man. I don't want that. <laughs> if I wanted a tablet, like, I'd get a freaking like, tablet. That's like carrying around a giant book. Yeah, man. It's point. just like you're just walking around the book. I touch screen. Like I don't. I have a tablet for that type of stuff. So yeah. like I'm on the go. I just want something that fits in my hand. And but to your comment on Ustream, is it is it something up with my me viewing the stream, or is it normal that in the middle of a show, <laughs> after I've watched the advertisement, it'll just all of a sudden cut to commercial, and then I lose where you guys were in the stream? Yeah, so it's I, like, um, I lose those it's, minutes? it's definitely a. Uh... I think it's an annoyance model to get you to subscribe because I know it's like, I guess the user can subscribe and get rid of ads. Twitch does the same thing. Um, or I can subscribe for a much bigger number that I cannot afford on a podcaster's budget uh, to get rid of those ads. So I'm looking for alternatives. And there's another alternative that I tinkered with a little bit, couldn't get anything going, uh, started tinkering again. And uh, we're using YouTube Live. Uh, we actually have, I have a, uh, test YouTube live stream. So please, if you're on there, please, I, I hope you guys test out the YouTube stream. If you're on live.sorgatronmedia.com. So uh, let us know how it's working. Is it, 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 I'm not pushing out full HD or anything to it just to make sure we, you know, it's good, you know, um, and the computer is going out a good clip recording and streaming and everything to two streams. I'm still going to use stream as a backup. Um, and, uh, it, one, one advantage I see out of this, first of all, how many times have we had issues where Wirecast has crashed and I lose the video file, right? That's very true. Like if the power goes out or something, like I, there's no backup other than me, um, configuring something where a video feed comes out of the main computer into another computer and records it there too, or onto a different device. Um, like those are the things that I've worked through in my head to try to make that work. But if you're using YouTube live, like we have experienced with hangout on live, or on air, I'm sorry. Um, whatever goes out live gets recorded at YouTube. So this entire night of podcasting, warts and all, is up on a YouTube server. If the power goes out, this computer dies, oh my god, all these horrible things I need to knock on wood. Um, it's there. You know, I did not lose all my shows. I can I can pull that down because I know how to pull down the YouTube stuff. It probably gives me the option to download the entire file as an MP4 uh, because they've been doing that lately, uh, which is really nice if you do Hangouts and just want to drop that into a podcast. More, more importantly, it's not Flash. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I did have some trouble coming up with my browser because I refused to put Flash on this laptop. Uh, some of the browsers did not like the feed because sometimes if it's like... Uh, non-converted feed that you just uploaded it won't load the html5 yet because mm. it's working on it and i think something was weird with the stream too maybe because i was just starting it too um but well, stream, this, the stream i i can see the stream it, it's underneath the Ustream on, on the site yeah it's using the html5 player it is there it okay good good Good, and that, that opens that up, so the, the, hopefully I can kill off a Flash applet. I, eventually, I'll make that the main player, um, and the Ustream will be a link as a backup to go for people to go to if something went wrong with Ustream or YouTube. Um, I uh, the, the caveats with this, I have been able to put an embed in on Ustream, and it just sits there on the site. And I hit, I hit record here, and it's, it's broadcasting to the site. I have to put a new embed in for every event that I do, because every Warm whenever up. you go to live that you know your, YouTube. YouTube live, it's a new instance. You know, uh, it's not I turned on a switch on the stream. It's I started a new program. Um, and actually, if you go in here, it, it's pretty cool because you actually go in and mo most have it under like videos and and uh, uh, like your video manager. There's a drop down, and you just go load up like like you're putting up a YouTube video. Let's see if it loads. 
I shouldn't have clicked anything. Um, but you can go through everything. And it even has, like, Wirecast for YouTube. We use Wirecast here. We paid for Wirecast here. A lot for Wirecast here. Um, but if you want just the basics, it, it, it will only work with YouTube. That's smart. Um, and, you, and it looks like you can put a little bit of graphics. It looks like you can do a little bit of inputting um, and pick your ingestion. And it has a bunch of other options, too. Um, oh, I can set, I can even set my license to uh, Creative Commons right off the bat. I should do that on these things. Um, and th you can do monetization on here. Probably something I should turn on. Um, but the cool part is also you go to the live control room and they give you a lot of stats. Um, you can see like how many how many people like analytics for the entire stream. So we've been on for uh, almost five hours right now. Uh, this is our, our fourth show we're recording, right? And you can see like total total view time in hour six, peak, peak concurrent four. Um, if I go down here, it's just loading up. Let me kill all these tabs. It's that Apple site that's killing it. Um, you know, average view, and you can also, as you go in, I didn't set it up right here, but you can set up a preview and you can actually create highlights on the fly as the video is going. You can you can say just put a, a set start to set end. There's a preview thing that comes in, which I guess you can um, kind of click around in to, to through the entire feed. Like if you have any other live feed, you can kind of click back into it. Um, you can insert ads in certain points. You can do broadcast alerts if something's happened. I can say the broadcaster canceled this event. If we had it embedded somewhere or experiencing technical difficulties, please stand by. Uh, we'll be right back. You know, get throw these cards up like this, which I think I accidentally did earlier. Somebody said there was a standby thing. It's been really good about because I have to actually leave Wirecast and then open up a new one, re-authenticate YouTube and and that's the other thing. You, you you hit authenticate if you're logged in on, on your YouTube account. Um, you just pick your YouTube it wants to go to. And it sees that project that you set up in YouTube. Um, and you're good to go. It, it cool. sees all the ingesting settings that you've already put in. It sees that I wanted to send it at like 480p tonight. Um, and you, you're, you're just good to go. Uh, analytics are pretty cool like it, it breaks down a graph of like what people you it actually shows you in the stream i don't know if you can see the colors on here if you're on video but it actually shows you what stream people were using total number of people so that's the blue line and then like how many people were on the 360p stream how many people were on the 240p stream so i can actually go through this and and, and start looking at it say if i'm pushing hd every week and I see that, like, well, people are generally using SD feed. Why am I going to push HD? So you can start kind of user testing that kind of mm -hmm. stuff and see if, like, okay, you know, we'll bump it up to, uh, I don't know, 720 next week. Does anybody even use it? You know, uh, I would say probably not since it's in that little box down here in the YouTube stream. Um, John's saying that it's a uh, good feed, sounds clear, and F the ads. Everybody's saying F the ads in the <laughs> F the <stream. laughs> Uh, so I, I like I, I couldn't figure out what I did last like the la last couple of times I tried this like on Tuesday night I set something up in advance the only weird thing is um, I don't trust setting something up in advance and then going in and coming down here and setting it up because it doesn't seem to work and I don't know if it's something about the way I think set things up the way I use Wirecast um, I was I'm actually working with a client to to use this. Uh, very soon for for a live event, a pretty big live event coming up, um, and it was just like I would you know let you know I need access to your page to put the embed that day, you know we we can't set this up in advance just because I don't feel good about it. <laughs> hmm. I think um, that's something they'll figure out in the future. Um, I think it's just it could be it, honestly it could even be something I'm doing. Maybe I'm missing a checkbox. Maybe it's something like that. Um, there's even comments built in uh, if you go to the YouTube page. Um, and they pop up here in this little command center. Um, so you're you're good to go. There's actually a, a, a one in here from earlier. I guess Malengo was looking at the page and clicked through and he says, so is there another chat, uh, for instance? Which, again, kind of the same problem. Well, people can find it. I'll have this thing on through the night. I can see if somebody wandered onto my YouTube stream, you know, uh, through through other methods. And uh, and maybe I can respond to that kind of stuff. Great live comments, so people can call you an asshole while you're talking. <laughs> yeah, via YouTube, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, but but generally, I, I'm going to try to figure out ways. Um, if there's anything I can post in here and say, hey, go to live.sorgatronmedia for the chat, like I try to 
on some of the other venues. But generally, I think this is going to change the game about how we stream around here for these. Um, I, I That's why I wanted something clean, and it's free, because it's YouTube, because they want you to do stuff, and hopefully some of you, enough of us turn on the ads for us to, for them to pay for this. And uh, eventually, maybe I will to a point that you'll get maybe the pop-ups or something like that uh, if we had some kind of critical mass of live viewers. But, you know, for now, I just want people to have a reliable stream. You know, uh, I know, uh, you know, uh, Doug out there, he, he sits there and pulls up the Ustream and uh, Chromecast his browser to throw up on the TV. Now he should be able to just take the YouTube stream and Chromecast that. Yeah, I have a, I have a button right here. It says play on TV. Yeah. Chrome's telling me where. To, and it's funny because I don't even have a Chromecast, but it's giving me three options where I can send it to. That's interesting because I'm on. I think I'm no no I no I'm on a network that has a Chromecast and I don't think it's popped up on this one. May I have to go to a YouTube page. Do you think at some point that that like Hangouts would integrate with the live YouTube stream? Actually, when you go, it asks you. It it says what do you? Uh, it, it, oh, I don't know how it asks, but it's like do you want a basic or do you want a custom ones? And the basic one, it just opens up a an on air Hangout, which is also. Cool. Awesome. You know, yeah, I mean, that's, that's what cool. we do. Mondays, we do um, we do a weekly podcast because that's the thing everybody can understand in the venue. Um, but uh, we've had they call it educational grand rounds. And they've just been having discussions about some of the stuff around the, you know, around the behavioral therapy place, uh, you know, like methods that they work, uh, nutrition, you know, things, things that are part of the program there. Lately, they've been using Hangout to bring people in and talk to them bring in experts um last last week he had somebody that had um some kind of it was a thyroid disease uh this week we had somebody come on that, that was talking about acupuncture which is something they don't have there but something that they could look into for that their holistic approach um uh, for instance so so is you know people are into herbs and people are into essential oils and just kind of like collaborate with people across in this case for the most part pittsburgh but um but and kind of beyond and we actually set that up so they already have a projector in there and they have a, a, a sound system so we just pipe it through there so the hangout actually goes up on a projector screen so everybody in the room can talk to them you know, and, and Hangout's been really good about, I got a snowball mic and a Logitech webcam, and I don't get a lot of reverb from, like, the room, like, somebody talking, the the uh, voice of Oz talking to them uh, over over uh, over the big system in there. So it's been pretty cool. It's been a good experience. They could use a better computer. It looks kind of chunky from their end, unfortunately, but uh, the Internet's good. It's really just that box is bad. Mm -hmm. It's like a triple core Athlon. I don't even know what. Um, I don't know what that is. I I, I launch I launch Zubuntu on it just to get a little bit cleaner CPU out of it, uh, and I get a little bit better video out of it. <laughs> uh, but but it was it's it's uh, yeah I think this opens up for a lot of live options. You know I mean how many years uh, with PodCamp we would go with somebody that was the expert in streaming and they had their own servers and everything. And I'm looking at this stuff. I'm like, let me do a PodCamp with this. We just open up a bunch of live streams and go. Is it easy? Is it so? So now since you're doing, are, are you cutting the YouTube stream in between and then redoing your ID, or is it one? Is it one long stream that you'll cut apart later? Well, I, I'm wondering what's what's happening. Well, as far as what I edit. No, up on YouTube. What's up on YouTube? Well, I, well, whatever is going up on YouTube, I'm going to shut off. Uh, but it's there as a backup. Okay. I'm not okay. going to leave that up. I don't think there's much. I don't, I don't think there's much need to leave it. But if something happens, how many times have we had a conversation in between shows and be like, "Man, I wish I recorded that." Guess what? It mm -hmm. did. Not as high quality as everything else, but we can snag that now. Yeah. Uh, it'll be tough to download that giant. Well, it's, we're also going to test the limit. We're over five hours on this live stream. We're going to see if there's a limit to this live stream. They cut you off at three on on Hangout, I believe. Um, if you're if you're doing a live thing, uh, but so so in the end, I'm going to have over a six hour no. I'm going to have about a ten hour file today. It's <laughs> pretty big, man. It's uh just for fun. I'm going to try to download it. <laughs> just just as a challenge just as a just just to see if i can do it 
because that's what we we'll do. Tell you, we'll always tell you how big it is ahead. Of, well, I know, yeah, I know, it'll tell you how. Big As it, it is starts to download it, if it got that far. Okay. I think. So there's there's an app like, I nope. use to download some stuff. And <laughs> new you you are using YouTube wrong. Stop it. You do not get to this file. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of the I guess I'm probably gonna end up being one of the YouTube abusers. I'm the one that's ruining it for everybody else. Anyways, uh speaking of everybody else in podcasting other cool tools and stuff. Uh, National Podcast Day is coming up here uh, at the end of the month. I believe it's September 30th. You'll find out here in a second. Uh, but uh, we're going to talk with one of the representatives. So let's go to me in the past.